Hello everyone, I'm Paul Dunningbuttle, the editor of CDN Computer Dealer News. With me here today is the CEO of Cynix, Kevin Murai, and the Senior Vice President of Marketing for Cynix, Bob Stegner. Today we're going to talk about the new distribution buying group, Varnix, which comes from Cynix. Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Glad to be here. Our pleasure, Paul. Bob, let me uh, ask you the first question. Do you think you can catch lightning in a bottle twice the way you did with uh, Venture Tech with the Varnix? Well, I, you know, lightning never strikes twice. So I think that we're not looking to try to make something uh, the same, but we're looking at doing some things differently. And one of those things that you can see by the customers that we brought in today from uh, Canada, mm -hmm. they're here, there's 17 of them here in Canada right now. We're looking to do a lot of different things with them. And I think that by working with them more closely together, we're gonna to be able to accomplish those goals. The key challenge, as I see it, is attracting uh, some of the top partners in the channel. It seems to me that uh, VTN has gobbled all of them up. Uh, what can you do to try and convince them to switch to Varnix? First of all, it's not just about get, uh, capturing the top partners. I think really what we're, um, what we're putting together is a community of uh, a number of ours that work well together, that actually complement each other in what they do. You know, uh, customers and VARs that have specialties in different technology areas, whether it be networking or server and storage, you know, maybe VoIP and telephony. Um, and in addition to that, those that actually complement each other well, um, you know, based on the geography that they serve. So there are a lot of uh, emerging players in the Canadian marketplace, and I think there are a number of customers that we have that have great relationships with us uh, that we've managed to pull together. I think the other thing I want, to, I want to touch on that is what I've heard from Canadian vendors is there's a lot of good customers out there that quite frankly aren't part of the community. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a great opportunity. One of the things that we're finding from Varnix even in the, the U.S. Mm -hmm. is that we're bringing a lot of new people into the community. And so vendors are an opportunity to go after that SMB market with new customers. Mm -hmm. The second thing is it's not necessarily the largest customers, it's the ones that service the SMB market. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key. You got to remember, a uh, uh, it's the size of the customer. I'm sorry, the size of the reseller may depend on the market. They may be a hundred thousand uh, dollar reseller, but yet that's the large one in that community. And those are the ones we're trying to we're trying to serve all the customers. Yeah. And and I guess the final point, I mean, just remember that, you know, as we as we gain success in what we're doing in Barnex, then even some of our smaller partners are going to become much bigger over time. What are your goals for the Canadian portion of Varnix? Well, first of all, from a Canadian standpoint, um, I think sometimes sometimes people forget that Canada is a country and it has to be its own entity. And so one of the things that we're doing is we're very focused on making uh, Canada its own Varnax. And by that, what I mean, things are different. Just because it works in California or Iowa or Mississippi doesn't mean it's going to work in Toronto or wherever. So we're really kind of focused on getting the best customers we can out there that are joining ours, get the coverage within there, and then continue to move the program forward. What are some of the programs that Varnix is offering that the other groups are not? Well, I think one of the things you're going to see is tomorrow we're going to go through the uh, mobile application mm -hmm. that we have for them. Kevin, uh, you know, displayed today the uh, Easy Express application, mm -hmm. but we also have a, a, a Varnex mobile application that when they're out on site, they can go in and they can find out of any type of promotions that are available. They can find out on, they can go right into Easy Express if it's one of their technicians. And I think from a service standpoint, a lot of the programs that we offer that are more solutions based, and mm -hmm. Kevin touched on just a little bit on some of the, the different uh, solutions, those are the ones we're going to be focused on with them. Another aspect of this are the vendor partners. Uh, what is Varnix doing for them? Well, I think, I think first of all, the vendors um, are, to your point, I, I, don't, I don't blame anybody from taking a wait and see mm -hmm. attitude, but yeah. what they're doing, mm -hmm. these are the same vendors that have already started participating. Right. Um, obviously, because of the relationship that Kevin and I have with Canadian vendors, a lot of them have already gotten in, and there's a trust factor, and they know that we're going to deliver a great quality product. And so as we've talked to these vendors, a lot of them have given me feedback on customers that they would like mm -hmm. to see that aren't being served. Mm -hmm. And they're also looking for other ways to get into that s and market. As I said before, there are a lot of resellers in the Canadian market mm -hmm. that aren't being served. And, that, and that's really what it's all about, is yeah. it's growth in s and uh, You know, everybody's talked about it for years, but, you know, the reality is 
there's still a lot of opportunity there because right. penetration is not as great as people would like it to be. So our strategy, um, you know, as a company, even beyond Barnex, is to really go narrow and deep, focus on some key growth verticals in SMB, but leverage, you know, what we can bring to the table in, in training and in resources, and then work hand in hand with our customers to get much deeper penetration in SMB. And that's really what our vendors are looking for, growing their business in SMB. Okay, and so Bob, yeah, go on. Oh, I was just saying, see, the other thing that I wanted to bring up is, you know, is that's why they're here. Right. You know, quite frankly, I wanted to get them in here right now so they could see what a North American approach would be. They could kind of see, uh, you know, I've gotten great feedback from some of the Canadian customers already, just people they've met, and some of the things they find that the, that they can take cross border and, mm -hmm. and so forth. So, you know, I'm excited about that. And then in the spring, they would have their own, the Canadians will have their own invitational. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then in the fall, we'll always combine them together because I think it's great for uh, a North American standpoint mm -hmm. for them to get to see what the other. Uh... Okay, last question is for you, Bob. Your reputation definitely precedes you. Uh, you definitely have a lot of clout in the uh, channel. And some say you have legendary status uh, in the channel and that Elvis impersonation you made today uh, definitely proves that. But what I want to ask you is, do you have to be the catalyst to make Varnix successful in the marketplace? Um, not necessarily. I think that, that really the deeper the team is, mm -hmm. that that helps the most. Mm -hmm. We've got a great team at, uh, at, uh, at Cinex. Mm -hmm. I think part of it is, you know, it, they want a figurehead. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. Do I, do I really want to keep going out at Elvis at my age? No, <laughs> but the customers like that they have somebody that they can relate to. Right. It's just a figurehead. Right. But really, if I sit back and I look at the team underneath, right. that's going to be the really critical part because that's where the rubber meets the road. Okay. And I think when they work on doing some of these solutions, that's going to be the key. And it's just like what you saw with the, um, the mobile application right. that Dean is doing on that. I, I'm not capable of doing that, but I can go to Dean and say, here's some of the things that we want to do, and the team can deliver it. Well, Kevin, Bob, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for me, Paulo Donibleto, the editor of CDN Computer Dealer News, reporting from Las Vegas.